Why, well, hello everybody, and welcome to a, another video brought to you by me, Jack, VEG TV. You know, I am literally outstanding in my field. Okay, it's not my field, but if I owned it, then it would be my field. Well, I would do, a, I put my face on the screen, but I'm just too hideous and we don't want none of that. But I will say this. I found Jesus. And that's what we want to talk about today. I found Jesus. And how many of you, like me, I found Jesus. If you haven't found Jesus, then uh, I would like to bring him to you. I'd like to introduce you to Jesus. Jesus, this is the YouTube. YouTube, this is a funny place to find Jesus, ain't it? I mean, really. But I guess uh, I guess this is a good place as any to find Jesus. Thinking about uh, turning this into a mobile home, I think this would be a fantastic framework for a mobile home. Plenty of room. I can go two stories. Nah, I'm kidding. I just brought you out here to show you Jesus. Actually, uh, uh, at least right there I did anyway. I want to show you my bucket. Why? Well, because my bucket's got a hole in it. Who knows that reference? Anyway, uh, honestly, sincerely, I hope this ain't uh, too long of a video, but it may be. So brace yourself, grab the popcorn, uh, let the dog out. This is a follow-up to my uh, Where Have I Been video. I guess, uh, I guess one would call it a, uh, an update. So, I have uh, had my surgery, had a acrylic lens put in. By the way, what you're looking at, that's uh, uh, Lake Okeechobee here in uh, Florida, California. Actually, for those who don't know, what you're really looking at is a rice field. These lines that's going down the field. How many of you know what that is called? Anybody? Any farmers? An airplane up there. Uh, well, you're wrong. Those are called checks. Back in my youth, I used to work agriculture and uh, come out here on these uh, checks like three, four o'clock in the morning having to put down a chemical. And uh, then you'd, you know, you'd work all day until nine, 10 o'clock at night. Uh, farming life. It was uh, it was a good life. I enjoyed it immensely. It was hard work, but I enjoyed it. Anyway, um, had my acrylic lens put in, and in my earlier video, I told you that my vision was at 2200. I was actually wrong. Uh, my vision was at 2400. That's my pickup truck somewhere over there. There. Uh, 
Here in the United States, legally blind is 2,200. So how many of us could do this uh, on our fingers? Uh, so yeah, I was, uh, I was twice the legal limit of legally blind. Cheesy. After my surgery, the day after my surgery, uh, I gotta tell you, that was an awesome nap I had that day too. Lamo, out you went. Went in the next day. My vision was 2070 in my bad eye. My good eye is maintaining at 2025. I have slight issue in it, but as long as that maintains, we're gonna be fat and ducky. Two weeks later after that follow-up, uh, I went in for another follow-up and my vision was uh, 2035. That is phenomenal. But my eyeball is not perfect. I still have issues. From the original issue, I have distortion in my bad eye, which is what, what initially started all of this. And uh, because of my injections to clear that up, that caused me to have a, uh, a cataract. And having a cataract is not fun. I guarantee you that. For those who've never had one, take a big fat thick of petroleum jelly, add some cigarette smoke to it, all nice and yellow, and just take a heaping gob and just rub that in your eye slowly over time. And that's what it's like. It got to the point there at the end uh, where I stopped driving. Working on the workbench was getting a little challenging. Uh, throughout all that, I had my visual aids, magnifying glass, lots of light, and I was able to maintain and do okay, except for their last several, I don't know, about three weeks. Uh, I was really starting to have uh, some issues and had to have the YL, or for those non-ham operators, the, the wife come in and uh, kind of help me out a little bit. Last year, you know that I swapped offices with her and it took me, gosh, two weeks or not two weeks, it took me twice as long as what I meant to say to, uh, to do the move. I did it 99% by myself and uh, had a hard time cutting. Uh, sometimes I could see my mark uh, to lay it down, but when it came to cutting, man, I had a hard time bringing flashlight and magnifying glass and try to get the uh, saws to, to line up and it was uh, it was challenging to say the least so I, I took about um, I took about six hundred dollars worth of uh, wood right and I well I turned it into uh, kindling is what I did but I eventually got it and uh, even though it's not 100% perfect, it hasn't fallen down yet. So that's a good thing. I've got a lot of weight on there. So, let's see here. Yesterday, I went in for a injection. I'm hoping that's my last injection. That was about five pokes in the eye with a needle. Four for numbing and one for the actual... Uh, injection uh, on top of the numbing they took a cotton swab and rubbed it all over the eye I know some of that makes you wince but uh, try being on the other end of that <laughs> that's not fun and I'm really hoping that this is it I go back here uh, in about another month or so oh, some birds and hopefully,
Can't tell if I'm on the birds. Yeah, I guess I'm in the area. Um, go back in a month or so, do a follow-up, and if the swelling went down, then I get to go in for laser surgery, and hopefully that will take care of the problem. But honestly, if that don't take care of the problem, I am fat and happy where I am at because I am able to see tons better. Furthermore, I'm actually able to put a camera to my eyeball and look through the viewfinder and see all the numbers, see what I need to see. I brought a camera out today with me, a vintage camera, just dorking. It's the first time I've actually uh, used a camera. So I'm not really expecting much. I just want to see how things are. I did buy a vintage camera uh, yesterday, and a few days prior to that, I bought a, it was a vintage digital camera I bought. Uh, a few days prior to that, I bought a vintage lens and uh, waiting for those to roll in. I'm looking forward to that. I want to go hog uh, wild and buy more, but I figured, well, I better slow down and uh, see how I do. Anyway, I think this video has probably gone on long enough. I forgot really half of what I said. Got caught up in the scenery, and uh, over there's Jesus. Sorry about the bounce, bouncing boogie. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I was light sensitive, uh, crazy, crazy light sensitive. Most of the time I sat in my house with the uh, shades pulled, blinds pulled, and it was dark. Couldn't handle the, uh, couldn't handle the light. Well, I've been fighting and uh, fighting since uh, my surgery sitting at home, forcing the curtains to stay open, and and really trying to fight this. And I think I'm winning. I'm, I'm out here today in this nice, bright, sunny day. It's about 85 degrees outside of my prescription glasses and my hat. That's all I got on my head. Generally, I would be running around with sunglasses And I do that a lot of the times at night time. So I think I'm really making great progress. It's been uh, very liberating. That's no doubt about that. Very liberating. And because of that liberation and the amount of time I've lost due to this uh, stupid disability, there's a lot of things I need to do, a lot of things I want to do, a lot of things I'm going to do. So with that, I hope you will forgive me for not being on the YouTubes much, uh, minimalistic, uh, both posting and commenting, watching. Those that have been sidelined by a injury or or uh, 
disability and you've been able to uh, get past it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, Anyway, I don't know what else to say. I think I've said everything. I lost track of what I was saying, but I think I've achieved everything. All right, well, I can't think of anything else. If I can, I'll type it on the screen during this cheesy video anyway uh, thank you for watching thank you for understanding thank you very much for your support and both uh, your kind words in my last video in regards to my disability uh, where I've been uh, video each and every one of you have been super duper fantastic I cannot express that or say that enough Beautiful sight. I never thought, I never thought I'd get to see all this again. Didn't know the, uh, the road ahead. Didn't know where we was going with it. Doctors didn't even really know where we were going with it. You were like a son to me. Oh. Well, that's cheesy, right? Okay. But honestly, this is fantastic. I hated wearing sunglasses 24-7, sitting in the dark. I think that's out of focus. Okay, well, <laughs> we tried, we tried, we tried. All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to end this cheesy video now. I think it's gone on long enough, probably longer than uh, you wanted as well. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. I have lots of videos uh, recorded, just trying to find the time to uh, punch them out. Anyway, catch you guys later. It's been real. Bye. Sell, make money. Need the money, darn it.